the idea is to uh, have this as a control panel and uh, I'm hoping yeah I can use this as a this bit that's the idea and I kept just kept that sort of ledge so I can use that perfect well perfect I need to fit in the hole here but uh, that's not a problem top of this guy I actually needed a, a thicker, slightly thicker um, piece of wood. Um, the reason being that my glass will actually come in and um, wedge against that. So there you go. So next uh, I need to, yeah, I need to find clamps as well for this guy. but. Not too happy about the edge either. I would have hoped. Do you know what? I might need to redo another one and have the edge come lower. Would this actually clear it? No, probably not either. Can I? I don't think I get the, um, the clearance I need. This thickness of wood here, and actually, it would actually cover it. Yeah, but I don't get the uh, that sort of bump. Although I could, I could just actually add a small strip here that would do that. So maybe you have a very thin. that would actually just fall right under here. This is a bit too wide, but something like that actually would, uh, wouldn't be too bad. And then we're sort of deviating here from the original design, but I don't think I have much of a choice. And then this guy would actually just naturally wedge against that. And that wouldn't make too bad if I actually found a way to uh, with that because without it oh, actually just gonna wish this here for now. There you go. Without it, uh, actually it's not super straight, it actually just wedges it's actually completely flush with it, not here, and there's a small angle. That's interesting. I should probably have that still a bit higher. And then, hmm, maybe I should build up, because I, I did actually correct the the, uh, the height here. You can see how much I've added in uh, just fiberglass just to um, bring it level, because there was a small recess. But I think it needs another another mill. <laughs> now, that's going to be uh, that's not going to be an easy one to do, but. I might need to do that, and then I'll, I'll actually have just just the height I need. Because here, it actually is flush. So it, yeah, so that wouldn't be too bad. Or, you know, I might need to do that. Leave a gap and have a small band here of, of uh, T-molding. 
that might be the easiest easiest approach have uh, some team molding here that I can remove and, and I'll, I'll see anyway that's my panel here done um, and I just need yeah you can see the difference in height that was my yeah uh, my mistake but once it's all oh, I need to fill that small small gap but once it's all uh, sanded and painted you won't see uh, you won't see the uh, seams hopefully that's the plan and that's actually dry probably could do with the sand right now anyway I'm going. okay so I have uh, put my first layer of uh, black paint sanded uh, a lot of stuff actually there was a I uh, didn't spot it but there was glue left here and here and here so I sanded all that down a bit and I'm gonna put a not another layer of paint um, here for this top here I thought I could actually just get the, uh, you know, use some of the filler, leftover fillers to uh, smooth down the wood, but there's still big kind of gaps and holes. So I'm gonna, not sure what I'm gonna do. This is gonna be covered by uh, a wood veneer. So there'll be wood veneer on the side here and here, and the front will be black. Uh, the front here is not too bad. There's uh, still a bit of sanding that I have to do here. Um, here I haven't filled anything, but. I think it'll be okay, although, yeah, I don't know, I might, I might need to, uh, to refill and sand, because um, when the light shines from the game, that might just make this too obvious, I'll see. But a uh, lesson learned, I shouldn't have used, I should, I should actually have gone towards the shop and get another layer of this, a section of this, because uh, this is a bit too much work, and um, I end up I, I took it because I had it and I thought I'd save some money, but I ended up having to buy. I'm gonna end up to have uh, to buy filler um, just to make up for all the gaps. Um, I used filler here just to fill that edge here, and um, that saved me having to cut an angle because I wasn't sure what the angle was. And uh, yeah, other than that, yeah, I'm gonna do my second uh, coat of paint on the inside and back and front. And other than that. It's, it's it's pretty decent. Um, yeah, it's gonna clean up nicely once uh, once you get the uh, wood veneer. It's gonna start looking like a, a proper cab. Um, so I'm gonna order some wood veneer at some point. But next is gonna be the control panel layout uh, build one. So here's the uh, finished cab. Well, the painting. Um, mostly there uh, I kind of like yeah the, the seam isn't fully hidden here and there's a, but it's back it's okay but here uh, I, I know where it is but I don't think you can really see the seam between the, the base and the uh, top and then uh, I did my best to smooth out everything here still have that problem over here but that's okay and then the back I'm gonna have to live with uh, with these um, or do I? Will I fill them? Am I better off? I do have some resin, epoxy resin, liquid, very liquid resin. Um, am I better off actually just uh, sunning, uh, uh, filling these or getting some more filler? I'm gonna have to get more filler anyway. I might do that. Um, I might do that. So there you go. And I also I've done another um, this was the panel metal I cut. I've actually cut another one from the other half because the ledge here was uh, deeper. So normally, normally what you have here is is a wooden uh, a wooden panel, and then it's uh, about that thickness, and then there's a T molding groove and T molding go in here. But I kind of like the feel of metal for a control panel in general. So I'm gonna use this. I bond these together uh, with the epoxy resin, and then fill the holes, and then put my uh, overlay in place and drill my holes for the, the joystick and the buttons. And then here, uh, try and show you what the uh, cab will essentially. Once I have my monitor in place, but essentially this goes, sorry, this goes in this way. 
Um, so you slide it in and it'll be locked. Uh, come on. And no, this goes over there. There you go. So it'll be nice and flush. Uh, I need to cut another one of these anyway. This was just a rough template. Uh, but there you go. There you go. Uh, it's starting to look like a cab now. Ooh. Oh no! Okay, I've cleaned up my mess and uh, I've put in... Sorry, dude, I startled you. Uh, I've cleaned up my mess and uh, put the cab back in because it started raining, but uh, it's actually uh, it's actually better here. You can see the uh, smooth finish I was going for here. And the seam there at the bottom is barely, barely visible. Uh, so that's not too bad. Uh, here, I don't have to worry too much about the finish, although I slightly sanded it, but you still have uh, a bit of roughness to it because I want some uh, a key for the... Uh, Vinyl and here, um, so vinyl will go here, but I'm not sure exactly because we still have those uh, sort of big grooves and uh, it's not ideal. I think it'll be okay. I might actually just re-sand that because here we have vinyl anyway, we have vinyl overlay, um, the wood, uh, wood veneer. Stuff. So I don't really have to worry too much about what it looks like underneath, but I wanted a, a primer on it But I might actually just sand that smooth uh, It's a lot of work, but I think it'd be worth it um, Inside I haven't painted. I might actually just uh, put a coat of white inside uh, Just for the sake of uh, visibility um, so There you go. Um, I kind of wish I had the door when I've been able to cut the uh, Door here, but I can do that afterwards. That's not a big deal. Um, and I've uh, I've recut another panel because actually it's raining a bit, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, put that in. But I might. Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, um, it's not a big deal. I might need to. Well, I need to cut the door and uh, change the panel here because the edge was a bit too, um, well, not deep enough, essentially, and you could actually see the uh, the build-up of epoxy that I done just to keep everything level so that doesn't move, you know, what's it? It's actually nice and flush and uh, level. Um, go away, fly, well, be. So there you go, actually, I can see just a hint that there's a, a screw in here but otherwise it's not too bad um, yeah it's pretty pretty okay so I'm gonna bond the wood underneath and fill those holes and then I can use my control panel overlay and mark where all my holes are gonna be um, the other thing I need to do here uh, it's cut out maybe uh, something that fits because there's a small gap here. You can see the small gap. On the wind is a, a back plate. You won't actually be able to see anything, but it's still. Yeah, it'd be nice to get something a bit. So that's actually straight here because there's a gap. Here is fine, but here there's a, actually a, a good gap. I might need to recut another one of these. That's fine. I have loads of these upstairs. And then I'm gonna use. I'm going to reuse this to create a bezel. Uh, I'm going to cut it here and that will make my bezel for my screen so I just need then just dark cardboard, uh, dark cardboard just overlay like that uh, on top of uh, on, and yeah that's actually I'm just rambling here but that's, that's all I need. Um, just a dark cardboard overlay, the bezel and it'll be nice and uh, and neat. It's starting to stick, take shape, guys. Yeah, really happy with it. So, what will I order next? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, I'll see what's available online first. I'm gonna look for wood veneer because I'd like to get that done uh, and uh, and get the tea molding as well. I need brown tea molding. It's uh, actually brown tea molding to go with the wood veneer that goes on top of this. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to source then. Uh, oh no, I need to make the uh, uh, plate here to host the. Go away. Um, a plate here to host the uh, the light, the marquee light, and find a way to actually wedge that. Uh, not sure how I'm gonna do that. Actually, that might be my next move. Yeah, I'm doing. I'm gonna do that next, and then try and source wood veneer and. Uh, and some browned tea molding. Yes. Just to give you a rough idea of uh, what this is going to look like, so um, I've actually, actually, I'll show you. Uh, I've actually uh, put a plate here, and uh, I've just stuck this in front of a, a, sh a sh small sheet of plexiglass. And essentially, the way I have it is that this will, uh, this sheet here will this uh, slide. And I've just I have those grooves here, and there's a, a groove here, uh, supporting bars over there. So it'll just I can actually take it out like that from here, and then it'll slide down and slot in there. Hopefully, yes. Um, oh, there you go. And then I'm gonna stick. So this is a sticker. I'm stick the Donkey Kong uh, marquee on that, and. I'll do another, uh, I'll close the box here and I'll have a, a, a LED lights, essentially just lighting this thing. Uh, I might do a bar, actually a hanging floating bar like that, maybe from here to here, or I'm not sure exactly how I'll do this, but um, actually that's not a bad idea, just have a floating bar, or maybe a block, block the light altogether. Uh, <clears throat> and then I have the... Uh, control panel which sits roughly here uh, so I've had this actually for a while and it was slightly too big so you can see here there's a kind of there's a nice rounded edges with those trips but I had to cut them out unfortunately um, not sure what I did wrong here because I think I'm pretty sure it's the correct correct width so maybe this was a bit too wide and this is certainly the right with anyway so uh, and then we have the uh, play stickers that will actually come here so I'll put these on top of the uh, plexiglass, plexiglass I'll put these last because I'm I'm not sure I want to see what the result is with this op sort of uh, dark glass uh, and if it's if it suits I'll put them on that then um, and I know exactly how I'm gonna uh, create an opaque here uh, I'm actually gonna <clears throat> once everything is in place I'll put some uh, I'll put the sorry the bezel from the monitor over there, and once it's in place, I'll uh, I'll put some masking tape here, and I'll flip it over. I'll put the masking tape on the other side, exactly at the same spot, and then I'll paint the underside. I can flip it back, and it'll be uh, it'll be all dark and opaque. Um, so that's how I'm gonna go around this one, and then uh, then put these these guys here. Actually, this one might be going over there. I'm not sure. Yeah, with wise it makes more sense. Um, so there you go. Um, I need to source a proper leaf switch joystick and proper leaf switch button. So I'll probably source uh, original Nintendo stuff. These are okay, but they're they're uh, micro switches and uh, they play okay for more 90s games. But for something like Donkey Kong and Pac-Man, you really want uh, like I have in the Galaga those leaf switch ones. Uh, so there you go, you get a, an idea what it's going to look like. Um, and imagine that you have a coin door and the nice wood veneer on the side. Anyway, let's, uh, let's keep going. I've done a number of things here uh, today and I'm going to call it a day now. But um, I've done my power supply stuff, so we've got the mains coming here into uh, uh, being distributed. Uh, I have a switch here, just emergency switch. <clears throat> doesn't hurt to have one and then it's actually a um, fuse in there so I don't need one here there's a fuse in here and there's a fuse in that monitor so um, yeah the power is going into the switching power supply and this is here going into the monitor I'm using my old um, so this is the assembly for the old uh, Philips VS80 monitor um, so I've put, uh, it was kind of hard actually to fit everything in the chassis, but uh, this is the power here, the main board, and then the neck board and the tube. 
uh, I've made a little uh, skirt plug uh, that goes straight from the uh, the, uh, the JAMA edge connector. Um, so all we have here is really a RGB uh, sink is white and ground. So that's the beauty of a SCART actually, it fits, uh, fits all formats. And uh, I have my uh, PCB here, uh, Crazy Kong, and lo and behold, uh, there you go, it's uh, running. Uh, I haven't plugged anything else, so uh, none of the, oh see, I haven't, I've done my, uh, my panel, so um, it's actually pretty much wedges nicely here. So it's gonna it's gonna be nice, but I've put a piece of wood behind drain my holes. Uh, right now I'm using a, um, a micro switch uh, micro switch uh, system, but I'll change that to a leaf switch um, connectors. Uh, I've them on order, so hopefully whenever they arrive. Um, but it's 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 all here, and so now really, uh, well I need to connect everything. I need to connect everything and I need um, to put the lights, sound, uh, controller is connected and I still need, um, I know it's on the way so uh, I have actually the uh, the uh, T-molding, brown T-molding, uh, I've put T-molding here as well on the edge just to make things a bit cleaner, um, I need to put a few patches of paint uh, on the corners, but there you go, <laughs> there you go, uh, we've got stuff working and it's starting to take shape um, pretty pretty happy so I still have to make a back door as well for it but uh, pretty happy right now that the, the way it's turning out there you go and also I've made actually I've made a, a small slot here because we've got these uh, I don't know if you can see them but these uh, pots long pots um, but these guys here that are actually at the front and I've made a little uh, um, a little uh, groove in them so I can actually just uh, uh, use a plastic uh, screwdriver and then reach out and then tune them. Uh, so there you go. It's starting to look very nice indeed. Okay, okay, okay. I'm up. Oh no, I'm up. Oh no, I'm up. Oh no! <laughs> so there you go. I have uh, put the um, cut a hole actually for the uh, speaker. Uh, I measured it from the original Nintendo dimensions uh, and did a, a rough estimation cut. Uh, it's not perfect, but it'll have to do, I suppose. And then uh, I've uh, painted the back actually here black. Um, so you can actually sort of make out, but um, actually it's, it's, uh, it's working out quite all right actually. Uh, in uh, isolating just the screen. So we still have the stickers here to come here. They're actually over there. Uh, where are they? Should be here or in this one. Uh, there's a series of side stickers actually. This one we come here for the coin door. Uh, there you go. And then we have these stickers that should come here. Uh, and right to the edge of the screen. So there's one for Crazy Kong. And I have to actually have a Donkey Kong original one, I have a Crazy Kong one, so I'm not sure exactly which one I'd put. I'd probably, hmm, because they're actually slightly different. Maybe I should just have the Donkey Kong here on one side. It's not exactly accurate, but uh, it'd be kind of cool actually. I don't know, because I have Donkey Kong here. <laughs> So maybe, maybe I'll just put these uh, stickers. And uh, these guys are stickers. So once they're on, they're on, that's it. I can't just uh, play with them. Uh, and actually they're a bit, yeah, they'll fit better. So they should be going here. And then this guy can be put back. Uh, what else have I got? Oh, Donkey Kong Jr. Um, yeah, these should go here. And then we have the team molding that ha uh, I have. But I'm waiting for the uh, the wood veneer side to uh, to show up. So I'll do the wood veneer, cut it, and then I'll put the team molding on top. And uh, we'll be pretty much set. Um, almost finished. Still have a few a few days of work, but uh, there you go. Uh, and look how good this all looks. 